All right, so today I'm finishing the last few Steve's MS-22 modules for the uh, new Perfect Circuit batch. I've already calibrated uh, 10 units this morning, and now I'm gonna pop some knobs on the last five units and going to calibrate those as, uh, as well. And then, um, yeah, they're, they're almost done and we can package them and uh, ship them to the States. Not far from the location, so where the past weekend an illegal rave party with 10.000 festivities veel hinder veroorzaakt for poor bewoners. Maar volgens schepen van festiviteiten Hilde Foutmans van sint Ruiden gaat het dit keer om een kleinschalig evenement op een andere locatie. Ik ben het Lia van der Koffer. Nou, het lijkt in de gegeven dat de positieve gaat verliezen, wat ook natuurlijk niet anders kan. Door als je al 13 jaar verkeerd en in sommige regio's nog veel en veel langer de dienst uitmaakt, dan uh, uh, gaat dat een keer gebeuren dat er een omwenteling is. Maar well, while I was putting the knobs on those uh, modules, this made me realize that I'm uh, starting to run out of these uh, little PCB racks. So um, these are absolutely great because if you make sure that your PCBs have the same uh, width as um, a, a module front plate, you can actually use these both for um, storing PCBs, but also for storing uh, finished modules. Let me show you. So these drop just right inside the slots here. Oops. And this particular size of rack allows me to uh, store four, four HP modules on top of each other and I can comfortably put 12 in there. So these are super handy. I use them all the time. But uh, because batches are getting a bit larger and because, um, yeah, there's a new module coming, um, I actually uh, need more of these. So as a little side project for today, I'm going to um, make a few extra. These side panels that contain the slots where the PCBs or the modules fit into, um, they're held together with this aluminum profile. And then with these screws, you can actually set how far these panels are set apart. And you can actually also uh, space multiple of them like this. And so this is the, the rack I use for when the PCBs of uh, Steve's MS-22 are depaneled. And so I have uh, 10 to 15 sets of uh, four HP PCBs. And to keep everything organized, I, I put them in this little rack combination so I know which PCBs should be combined into uh, a single module. I now need, let's say, two more racks that fit modules. And so uh, what I need to do to make these is cut this aluminum bar stock, which I have right here, to size. And for that, I'm gonna use the bandsaw over there. Well, one final cool thing about these, which I forgot to mention, is that these are actually stackable. So, if you're dealing with lots of PCBs or modules, um, you can just stack them on top of your desk. And, and this is so, so space efficient, which I, I really appreciate a lot, uh, considering how small uh, my lab is. So, um, what has happened since my last update? Uh, the pre-production run for Doppio has arrived and it currently looks like the circuit is exactly what it should be. Uh, now, to be honest, I've only tested a single unit, so I still want to assemble 
a few of them before uh, giving a final verdict on that, but uh, it, it's looking okay, it's looking good. But unfortunately, the, the front panel had a little uh, niggle. Um, it had a production issue, and so I, I need to remanufacture those before I can, uh, can move towards releasing it. Power cells for pickup. Maybe one is even going to dunk. Who knows? So when the Paracel arrived with um, the pre-production run of Doppio and the new prototype that I'm working on, I, I shot a kind of a reaction video after I assembled the first uh, units of both. And al although that uh, footage is, well, uh, over a week old, uh, I still want to show it to you because it's, it's kind of nice to see what my first uh, response was. I was super happy, <laughs> it will be very obvious from the video. Um, I'm gonna edit that in right here. <sighs> so, it's Monday night and I just spent some time assembling the new prototypes. So, today they finally got through customs and today after my son went to sleep and Mareike went off to band practice, I uh, spent some time assembling the new prototypes and giving them a first test. So now to be clear, I haven't heard them, but at least on the oscilloscope, everything looks to be fine. The other prototype, my God. So I haven't heard it yet, but it looks so, so bleeping cool. Um, oh man. <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys. Um, for sure, it, it will. The basic principle, uh, it works. It works properly. Uh, it, it just needs some uh, minor tweaks. And yeah, I, I think this may be uh, uh, pretty nice. I was super happy. I, I, I actually still am because um, since then I've, I've had some time to play with the prototype and it's actually looking really good. I'm, I'm at this point rather optimistic that um, I'm going to do one more iteration and then it's going to be ready for release. Speaking about that, um, so even though Doppio is now tech technically ready for release there's still quite a lot to do before that can actually happen so uh, top of mind some stuff that's still on my to-do list um, i have to write the manual i have to look at pricing so that uh, everybody involved is happy i also need to fine-tune the production process for the new modules so pre-production runs and prototypes i'm assembling them like you would assemble a diy kit and um, that's all fine and well but that's now not how you manufacture uh, larger quantities so i need to look a bit towards uh, assembly jigs and streamlining the whole soldering process and then finally, I also need to think about how am I going to do quality control? What tests, what measurements am I going to do to make sure that um, no crappy quality is allowed to leave the house? And also, how, how am I going to do this without spending a ton of time on an individual module? How wou ik dat nu nog over zeggen? <laughs> These are all very interesting uh, challenges, uh, let's say, but unfortunately they, they do take time. They should take time, but considering this still isn't my main gig, uh, that means that, um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a little while before I'm ready to release and that's okay. Quality takes time. Um, I'd rather put out quality than, than rush things. It's a pity that I didn't get this ready before Superboot, but on the other hand, perhaps it's also kind of a, a blessing in disguise. Because 
Before Superboot, there was this huge media storm of all manufacturers uh, putting out press releases uh, about their newest products for Superboot. Honestly, as a small manufacturer, I, I, I feel like, oh man, I honestly don't want to compete with this with this media storm. I'd rather just uh, bide my time until uh, things have quieted down and then there's actually bandwidth. And, and so yeah, m maybe that's a nicer time to release a, a new product as a small manufacturer. I honestly don't know for sure. Uh, so if you have an opinion about this, let me know. I, I would love to see or hear uh, how, how people look at these kind of things. That brings us to Superboot, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I've, I've made the last practical arrangements, and on Wednesday, Mareken and I are um, leaving to, to Berlin. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, the people that I know online, uh, to see them again in real life, and, and it's gonna be super fun. So, uh, also, if if you're coming to Superboot, let me know, and and perhaps we'll we'll run into each other. Uh, anyway, see you guys hopefully at Superboot, and if not, then I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Hey, Mike. Alles goed. Ben je zeker? <laughs>